Hi everybody, Rick Ellis from Idea Punch here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Hologram. When you first launch Hologram, it's gonna ask you to enter your location, which is used by the weather widgets. If you click skip, it sets your location as Cupertino, California. You can also change this in your Hologram preferences. Hologram comes with several default themes to get you started, or, of course, you can create your own themes. A theme is just a container for your wallpapers and your widgets. If you click on a theme, it gets activated, or you can click the Make Active button. If we click the edit button, it'll take us into the theme editor. You'll notice we have four wallpapers in this theme. Themes can contain as many wallpapers as you want. And you can set hologram to automatically change the wallpaper at whatever time interval you want. Let's turn that feature off for now so we can stay on the current wallpaper. Now let's click the green add edit widget button. This puts us into the widget editor. By default, you'll notice there are a couple widgets in here. I'm going to grab the clock and put it into the coffee cup and resize it so it fits. Now I'll click the settings cog on the top left, which exposes the widget settings. First, let's change the clock face and let's change the hand style. Next, I'll scroll down to the color controls. I'll make the background translucent by pulling down the opacity slider, allowing some of the coffee to be seen. I'm going to turn off the blur background effect since that's not needed for this example. I'll show you how we can use this feature later. Okay, I think we're done with our clock. Now let's remove the info disk widget since I don't want that one in this theme. You can delete widgets by opening their settings panel and clicking the remove button. Now let's click the add widget button where you can browse available widgets. I'll select the weather card. I'll resize it, then click the settings cog to go into the settings editor. Let's enable the seven day forecast. There are four different icon themes to choose from in this widget, but we'll stay with the default set. Now let's enable the blur background effect, which makes the background semi-translucent. I can now pull down the opacity slider and make it even more translucent. Don't settle for the default look of your widgets, play with all the settings and discover your own recipes. Okay, I think that's it for the weather card. Clicking the done button takes you out of the widget editor and saves your settings. Literally in three minutes, we created this great looking theme. Okay, let's go back into the main themes page and click the plus button to make a theme from scratch. Let's call this one Ocean. Now we can click the Discover Wallpapers button. This gives us access to images from Unsplash, from Pixabay, and from Pexels. I'm going to search for Jellyfish. Those always look cool. I'll select this one and Hologram will download the full resolution file and automatically set it as the current wallpaper. I could continue clicking as many images as I want, but I'll stick with this one. Clicking the Done button gets us back into the Theme Manager where I'll click the Add Edit Widget button. Let's choose the Kanji widget, which randomly shows one of over 2,000 different Japanese kanjis. I'll click back into the settings editor. A cool feature of this widget is you can manually toggle through kanjis until you find one you like. 
or you can let hologram change it automatically at the interval you set. I'll hit the pause button to keep it on this particular kanji and we can start customizing the look. Let's scroll down and add a bit more corner radius. Now I'm going to use a blend mode which gives a really unique effect. Let's go with hard light. I'll turn off the blur background effect since the blend mode is darker without it. Now let's change the kanji color. I'll grab the eyedropper in the color picker and select a color from the wallpaper. Let's push it a little more pink so it matches. Lastly, I'll make the drop shadow a little more diffused. I'll darken the shadow up a bit and center it up. And that's it. I think this looks pretty good. Let's grab another widget. How about time as text? As the name implies, this widget shows the time, but in text form. I'll go back into the widget editor so we can customize it. One of the best features of Hologram is that it automatically gathers the six most common colors found in your wallpaper and assigns those colors to elements in your widgets. Dark muted is usually the default background selection, but you can change it. You can choose Dark Vibrant, Dark Muted, Muted, Vibrant, Light Vibrant, and Light Muted. I'll go back to Dark Muted for this example. Now let's kill the opacity and make sure that Blur Background is on. I'm also going to remove the background shadow. I want this one flat. Now let's pick a different text color. I'll pick a deep blue from the wallpaper. And while we're at it, let's change the font. Lastly, I'll give it a thicker border and maybe darken it a bit. Done. In about four minutes, we created this great look. That's what's so amazing about Hologram. Whenever you feel bored with your desktop, you can completely change it in just a few minutes. Okay, let's create one more theme by clicking the plus button. But this time, instead of downloading a wallpaper from an image service, I'll drag and drop one from a folder on my computer. Now let's go add some widgets. For this one, I'll select the info disk because I want to show you how you can duplicate widgets. The info disk lets you select one of several pieces of information. I'll show the weather. By default, the info disk has no border, but I'll click the auto button to assign one. Let's go with Light Vibrant. Now I'll increase the border size and make the background a little translucent.
Okay, this is the feature I wanted to show. At the top of the editor, you'll see a duplicate button. That button creates a new instance of the widget, but with the same settings you just applied. Now I can choose the data I want shown, and the widget is otherwise identical to the first one. I'll keep doing this process for as many widgets as I need, but selecting different info to be shown. I love this feature. Let's choose the sunrise sunset times. And on the last one, let's show the phase of the moon. And that's it. Another great theme in just a couple minutes. So that explains the basics of using hologram. Thanks for watching.